Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to review a very new lens from Korean maker Samyang slash Rokinon, and that is their new uh, SP line, which stands for Special Performance. This is an 85mm f1.2 lens. And, uh, and so I've, over the years, I've reviewed a number of lenses from Samyang Rokinon, and if you're not familiar with the kind of relationship there, it's um, to, to draw an allusion to another uh, major Korean manufacturer. It's very similar to the relationship like between Hyundai and, and Kia, in that often there are, you know, there's, there's shared manufacturing, and, and often it comes down to kind of packaging. In this case, it's even more true in that there really isn't any difference and any of the components, it's really about branding. And for whatever reason, um, Samyang slash Rokinon, they may have a little bit different to coat of paint, but it's basically the exact lens. And that's very obvious here, like on the side of the barrel and on the box, it says technology by Samyang Optics. I also noted that included in this new SP or Super Performance line, it comes with a, um, a lens pouch that is much like Canon's L series lenses. And on the side of it, it just says Samyang. It hasn't been rebranded at all for Rokinon. And so this lens is a, it's a departure for them in that um, over the years, while I, they've always been manual focus lenses, they have, you know, kind of occupied the lower bracket in terms of the build quality. It's always been about the bargain with them. And so my experience has been that, you know, they have a build quality that's nowhere near Zeiss, but often optically they, uh, they compete fairly well. And, and so, obviously, Samyang Rokinon has decided to take that a step further here, and they're going to uh, go after the build quality as well. And this is a very Zeiss Milvis type lens. It is an all aluminum barrel, um, and it is, uh, has a lens hood that kind of flows into, you can tell that the lens has been designed for the lens hood to be mounted there. It's a metal uh, lens hood, and it's just, it's very much like having a, I mean, this this feels very much like the the Zeiss Milvis 85 millimeter f 1.4 lens, but of course, Samyang has one upped um, Zeiss a little bit here by going a little bit wider with the aperture to f 1.2, which makes this along with Canon one of the very rare um, f 1.2 aperture 85 millimeter lenses. So this is a beautifully built lens, and like uh, Zeiss, you're going to hear that repeated uh, quite a few times, like the Milvis line, it has got a rubberized texture focus ring that feels very beautifully damped. It feels a lot like a Zeiss lens in, op in operation. Like Zeiss, it has that very long focus throw that allows you to get a lot of precision there, and uh, everything is, you know, is stamped in a nice bright way. In fact, they even have that kind of bright offset color. In this case, it's it's kind of a bright yellow slash orange that, you know, reminds me a little bit of the Otis approach. And so overall, this is a beautifully, beautifully built lens. You know, the one kind of area that I see that it differs from the Milvis line is that it does have I don't see any kind of weather sealing here, and so there's not any kind of um, ring or gasket here at the end. But one thing that I do note that I think is really important to me is that uh, as I watch the, um, the movement of the rear element in the back, at no part, even with it extended all the way forward, am I seeing inside or seeing to the inside of the lens. And so um, it, it is nicely sealed there in the back as far as in, uh, dust kind of getting in there. I'm always happy to see that. It just seems like a good engineering approach to me. Now, one thing that is unique for this lens is that unlike uh, any previous Samyang or Rokinon lens that I've used, rather than having a manual aperture ring, the aperture is fully electronically controlled. And so, in operation, this lens is just like a, a Zeiss lens. Um, you control the aperture from the camera body, which, you know, the advantage of that is it allows you to, to step up in, you know, kind of one-third steps, just like you can with any other lens. 
Um, on top of that, it also does have the focus confirm uh, chip built into there. And so when you do achieve correct focus, it will uh, light up the appropriate focus point and give you a beep to indicate a focus. And so, yes, an operation, this is very much like a Zeiss lens. Now, I'm going to find out if, the, if it optically is like a Zeiss lens, but you know, my experience in the past has been very positive um, optically with this. Let's take a look at few, a few of the other specs uh, for this. Um, if you look up front, you'll note that it, it's kind of a unique design. The inner barrel uh, moves, you know, forward with the front element. It'll move forward and back, but never um, past the inner edge. And so here you have room to mount in a filter along the front, and this is the now the third lens that I have seen at an 85 millimeter focal length that has an an 86 millimeter front filter thread. Unfortunately, that is still pretty uncommon. So I, I saw it first on the Zeiss Otis 85 millimeter f1.4, the new um, Sigma Art series 85 millimeter f1.4, and now this lens, all with that very large 86 millimeter front filter. Now, those filters are a fair bit expensive, you're going to find, and they're also just not all that common. However, as more lenses kind of broach that larger size, um, you may see a little bit more filters being made. And of course, whenever there are more filters on the market, the price should come down a little bit. It has a, a nine-bladed aperture diaphragm, and, um, and so we'll see how well it keeps the circular shape as things are stopped down. As a part of the, the design, it has one a spherical element, it has two high refractive index elements, you know, all designed to increase, you know, clarity and contrast. And so um, I'll run it through all of my typical tests to see how it does when it comes to chromatic aberrations and flare resistance and all of those kinds of things. It has their own brand and ultra multi coating for minimizing ghosting and flare. We'll see how well that it works. There's been a redesign here for this super performance, or sorry, special performance series. SP is also a Tamron branding. And so, um, so there's, there's been some reworking done to the front lens cap, which is now a center pinch design and just with an overall new design. And uh, like, you know, Zeiss has done with their caps, even the rear cap has been redesigned to just be a little bit more elegant looking overall. Now, this is a very squat lens, as you can see. Um, it is, it, it reminds me a lot of the, the Milvis 85 millimeter, except for the Milvis, um, of course, has a, a smaller, kind of more typical 77 millimeter front filter thread on it. But it is, it's fairly hefty. It's 1,050 grams. Now, that is lighter than, you know, Otis, Milvis, or New Sigma art series. But it is, it's, of course, heavier than, say, the Canon. And that is because, of course, instead of engineered plastics, you've got an aluminum body. You've got a lot of glass in there. This is a, a you know, it's a pretty serious lens here. Overall, the diameter of it is 3.66 inches or 93 millimeters. And it's 3.87 inches long, so almost as, you know, as wide as it is long. That's 98.4 millimeters. So, you know, physically, it's, it's a very different design than the new Sigma Art, which is very, very long. It's considerably longer than this lens. It's a little bit heavier, but this lens is quite squat. Now, uh, one thing I did note when I did the Milvis review is that I found that there wasn't hardly any clearance here between my fingers and uh, the, and that's on a cannon mount because there's no aperture ring, uh, between the lens barrel and the grip. And that's somewhat similar here, although there is a little bit more room, so I'm not actually brushing up against it at any point. And so 10 elements in uh, seven groups, it can focus down to 2.62 feet, that's 80 centimeters and um, it has a 0 0.13 times uh, maximum magnification. So, you know, uh, slightly better than average. The best in the, the group is the Tamron with a 0 0.14 times magnification. No 85 millimeter lens that I am aware of is really you know, fantastic in terms of magnification or reproduction, but that will allow you to frame, you know, nice and tight for, say, headshots, which is really um, kind of the primary purpose for a lens like this. 
So overall, beautifully made lens, um, very Zeiss-like, beautiful build quality. Focus action is very good. Now it's about determining whether the optics live up to it. But if the optics are fantastic here, this is a pretty serious contender to those that are considering, for example, a Zeiss Milvis in that, um, once again, Samyang Rokinon has managed to do it at a pretty fantastic price. Now, nothing near like their previous 85mm f1.4, which was kind of a plastic fantastic, um, you know, and it was, you can often get that b below 300 bucks in the U.S. market. This is coming to market at a price point of $999, but... When you look at the build of it, and if it is optically holds up as I expect that it will, that is, you know, basically cutting half off of the price of the Zeiss Milvis lens. So that makes it a pretty compelling option. And so um, follow along here. If you look down in the linkage below, I'll have started up a... Um, an image gallery, and I'll be shooting with this over the next few weeks, adding photos you know, pretty much on a daily basis as I test it out in various circumstances. So keep checking back to that image gallery and to get a sense of how this is performing optically. And I'll check back in with you in a future episode to break down the image quality and uh, how the optics hold up in this package. But a very interesting option for those of you that aren't afraid of manually focusing. I'm Dustin Abbott, and uh, you can follow me in social media down below or sign up for my newsletter. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.